What's up folks? This is DC5 Brandon. I'm going to be making some pretty major changes to the Cayman in a month. So I'm doing this video for kind of posterity. Uh, this is a 2012 Cayman S Black Edition. Um, Cayman S. And uh, yeah, I'm going to be changing some things. Uh, is Anybody that's watched any of my other videos about the Black Edition or the Cayman S knows that I bought this car not because it was a Black Edition, because I wanted a Cayman S with manual steering. And uh, essentially, I got what I wanted, uh, and I got the spider wheels. That was not something else I was looking for. And you, you normally don't get the spider wheels in a Cayman without either getting a Cayman R or a Boxster Spider. So I was really, really lucky to find this uh, a few months after I started looking for uh, a Cayman to buy. So I'll be making some cosmetic changes. I've, I've done a lot of the performance work to it, and I think I'm really satisfied um, with the results. But uh, yeah, you know, I've done some things already, like I've changed and put LEDs for all the interior and exterior lighting. Uh, so that was really cool. I like that. Uh, but I won't be doing anything drastic like getting the six, seven thousand dollar sport bucket seats. <laughs> but uh, I will be doing a couple of things. So I'm just kind of shooting this video to kind of get a sense of what the car looks like before I make those changes. Um, I'll just give you a hint. It's not like it's kind of to unblacken this car. Like, I, I decided because it's a black edition, I'm not gonna wrap it or anything or change the exterior color. I'm gonna keep that purity, at least, of the black edition. Uh, but there's some other things that I always wanted with a Cayman if I bought one, and uh, I'm just trying to add those options on uh, later. Uh, I've owned the car for almost, well, about six and a half years now, so, uh, I think it's time to like spice and things up and uh, make it look a little spiffy in the interior. But yeah, this is just kind of a walk around on the interior and how it looks. And uh, and hopefully uh, I don't get uh, burned too much for changing the black edition. But uh, um, like I said, I think most of you will enjoy the uh, uh, the changes. But yeah, that's it. Um, I'll probably do another video in a month or so. I'm showing the results. Uh, it may even be less than that, two or three weeks. And also for all your new subscribers, I'm sorry I haven't uploaded anything recently. I've been really busy. I've been had some uh, minor health issues, but enough to where it's, it's caused me to divert my attention elsewhere. Uh, so uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm thinking about posting my last autocross video from last year. Uh, just an update uh, and I've, I thought of also doing a vlog on like beginners who want like maybe came in beginners or just overall like people that want to take their car to autocross I did a full season of autocross last year and uh, even though I've done autocross before that year um, I, th I think I can give some good advice for beginners of course it probably one of a hundred videos online about starting autocross and tips on how to be successful and stuff but uh, I was fairly successful. Um, I only lost one event last year. Uh, surprisingly enough, I, I think it has something to do with the fact I wasn't completely tuning my coilovers right. Uh, but I just had I just just a, up against some better drivers in some uh, slower cars. So that sometimes that comes down to is that you're just up against uh, better drivers, uh, regardless of the car you bring. But um, this car is definitely a weapon at autocross. It definitely is the greater part. I, I think I'm a better driver this year, but. I think um, I think this car really does help me out with that. Um, I've upgraded it and tuned it in such a way and played around, got new tires and all that. So I'm, I think all those changes make me better in the street touring class. Um, and like I said, this thing's a weapon. So I don't, you know, when someone beats me, like I really want to go over and talk to that person and ask them, what are you doing? I want to ride with them and see like what they're doing because you can learn from people like that. All right, that's about it. Um, like I said, uh, stay tuned. In about a month or so, I might post another video showing you uh, the cool additions. All right, later.